Hi, this is John. I'm at the Emerald Hollow Mine Sluiceway. Um, just went through a bucket and didn't find a whole lot, but I did find some interesting pieces and I'm going to share these with you. Let's take a look. A lot of quartz. Um, from this bucket, I was getting into the quartz. It was just starting the face, as you can see there. Um, down inside, we've got some micro fractures leaving us with some nice little rainbow effects in there. Hopefully you can see that. There's some uh, calcite in a lot of these too. See it's got a hint of smoky to it. You got the uh, mica going deeper into it. That's pretty cool. A few more of the pieces. Got a lot of mica, about a quarter size or half dollar pieces with some pretty cool designs. Kind of it looks uh, golden. Got some weight to them too. Attached. That's pretty cool. There's some more. Uh, I didn't really get crystals, I got a lot of broken crystals. This was a bucket that actually I found before I started finding all those cool crystals. And there's some, you can see down in these hopefully, there's some calcite down in there. Broken crystal pieces. There's a rainbow down in there. There it is. Yeah. Love those micro fractures. You see that smooth, nice little tabby. Flat there, flat there, the sides are flat. Little piece of uh, anchorite. Another, another crystal wannabe. Got close. The closest thing I came to a crystal is this one right here. With the nice mica attachment. Like that. Got a firm grip on it too. Alright, let me get into the, uh, the top three. My top three are these, they have crystal face, but what I really like about them is the, the calcite in them. This is pretty deep in it, so it's hard to see, but on the other piece, the number three in our countdown, it's much more visible. And that's a flat surface, too. So it's down under there and you can see it pretty well. That's number three. Number two is this, which is a piece of limonite after pyrite. You can see some of the pyrite shaping because it's very heavy. And with some cleanup this will be a really an excellent piece. Alright, and number one is is this piece. You got some celestial action going on, which who doesn't like that? We got a point right there. But what makes this really stand out for me, here's another piece too. But look right here. It looks like we've got little tiny pyrite cubes and there might even be some hematite in there. I found this piece. And it looked like 
No, not that one. Yeah, no, it does go that way. And I'll put this up here because it also has those inclusions. But you see there's little, in the Alestials, there's little points right along that ridge there. Above it, it's all flat, and then you have that ridge. And that's the same structure that I got going on there. And they just seem to match up pretty decently. But this is the number one piece. So let me try to get some of these crystals here for you. So you got all that crystals going on. You've got some uh, there's some siderite that was sitting in there. But what's left is really just staining a little dirt type and some mica. But again, down in here, when you get all up and close with it, I've been finding a lot more of that going, going on in the uh, crystals that I've been finding. And I think it really, really adds to it. And that's why these are my number one pieces tonight. All right, that's it for now.